is taking no part. They've gone without Mokamal for the Introducing Racing TV Novice Stakes over a mile. King Adamar, King of Change, both jumped smartly out of the stalls. Vasiliev and Piper Arrow were both soon prominent as they run through the first quarter of a mile. Reformed character So High Cardi Deerfoot give chase to the leading quartet in advance of Pondus and Cheng Gong with Thomas Cubitt amongst the back markers together with Mandicello and Monsieur Lombres. It's King Adamar from King of Change as they leave the back behind them with Vasiliev in third, Piper Arrow in fourth but five lengths off the lead and the rest are already strung out all over Nottinghamshire as the leaders approach the entrance to the home straight. So heading to halfway, King Adamar and King of Change continue to dominate, passing the half-mile pole. Two in front of Vasiliev with Piper Arrow just about in touch in fourth, and they're eight lengths clear of the chasing group, now led by Pondus, who's moved up into fifth position in front of Deerfoot and the weakening reformed character. The leaders have only two and a half furlongs to go. King of Change and King Adamar are the front pair. They're three lengths in front of a driven long Vasiliev with Piper Arrow back in fourth and Pondus doing much the best of the rest with a furlong and a half to go. King of Change on the outside has nosed ahead of King Adamar. Vasiliev still trying hard to bridge the gap. Then follows Piper Arrow with Pondus keeping on very strongly. King of Change has mastered King Adamar. Vasiliev is looking held in third running up towards the line. It's King of Change who gets off the mark. King Adamar ran second. Vasiliev in third. Pondus a big eye catcher with Piper Arrow fifth and they were a long way clear of the remaining who were led home by a never nearer Mandicello. King of Change wins the battle with uh, King Adamar to win for Sean Levy and Richard Hannon, a horse who was close second twice. Right, will he stay sort of middle to stand side or will he head to the rail? And if he heads to the rail, several are likely to follow and that could be crucial. That's what the jockeys are facing. Last one's in for the Kipco 2000 Guineas, the first classic of the season, and they jump away from the stalls. So away we go. Emirati Anna was well out. Tom Sen Sovereigns as well. There's a breakaway group of three coming down the near side. Shine So Bright has come over there, taking Magna Grecia and King of Change with him. Emirati Anna's over on the far side, racing solo. Ten Sovereigns is forced to cut out his own pace up the middle, in company with the likes of Kick On and Azano. Mad Moon's just behind those with great Scott advertise urban icon and then behind those that uh, is royal marine the red cap of dark vision is racing quite handily uh, just behind these advertising midfield great scott already pushed along monkins right at the back of the group with set piece scar Do's well back as well in company with al halali and they're just preceded uh, in that main cluster by set piece so emirati anna over towards the far side cutting out the running with shine so bright and those on either flank are currently the two leaders magna grecia and king of change the two that are with shine so bright and this group have the overall lead Azano with kick on 10 sovereigns front rank in that group dark vision is pushed along with sporting chance set pieces making ground on the extreme left in company with Scardu as they make their way down with two furlongs to travel in the guineas under the near side shine so bright being taken on by Magna Grecia and king of change and these three are the front three at the moment 10 sovereigns isolated out in the center a stable companion Magna Grecia hits the front in the guineas Scar do urban icon out in the center with 10 sovereigns under the near side rail it's magna grecia however who is clear by two lengths from time of change and then behind king of change and then over on the outside Scardu. 10 guineas raiden o'brien magna grecia beat king of change it was tight for third between mad moon who's the last one forward here's richard for the feature so all set for this chase more farm fortune stakes listed contest the runners all break out of the stalls and Turgenev is restrained at the back of the pack. Early on, the pace is coming from Prince Igy in the yellow colours and Wooten in the Godolphin blue as they race through the first furlong. Prince Igy has the lead. King of Change is in third. The grey-silver line moves up to dispute that position. Last winter, and Turgenev are the back two as Wooten now moves through to head Prince Igy about three-quarters of a length between the pair. Silver line, the grey has moved through to take third from King of Change, who is in fourth place with last winter in the red cap. And Turgenev is still towards the back as Prince IG is now pretty keen in pursuit of Wooten as the Godolphin horses now fill the first two places as Silver Line moves forward, the grey and the white cap to take second. So Godolphin Blue controlling the race with Prince IG in third, King of Change in fourth, then last winter and Turgenev as they make the turn and they're now past halfway. 
So out in the lead, it is Wooten who is showing the way for William Buick. Leading Silver Line, Oshin Murphy in second place. Prince IG in the yellow colours for Andrea Adzini. Then King of Change, green and grey for Sean Levy. Turgenev making ground up the centre in the green jacket, just nursed along. And then last winter for Ryan Moore. So in a bit of a heap, a Silver Line moves to Witten, who's now being pushed along on the inside. King of Change comes next, Prince IG. Behind these shaken up is Turgenev. And last winter's last of all, Silver Line has got to the lead. But King of Change has moved through pretty smoothly. Then it's Prince IG and Turgenev still with a little bit of work to do as King of Change takes over inside the last. Prince IG and Turgenev towards the inside. Silver Line battles on. Turgenev switches to the inside. King of Change has a narrow advantage and if anything is extending it on the run to the line. Good return for King of Change off the back of his guinea second to beat Turgenev. Silver Line, Prince IG eventually fourth out of Wooten and last winter. Smart performance and a, a thinking bit of training as well. Richard Hannon came on the program at the beginning of the day and told us that he deliberately gave King of Change a long layoff after the Guineas. Nothing wrong with him. Just wanted to have a nice horse for the autumn. He'd had a hard race there. This is Dental Agent into stall nine. And they're away. And away to a pretty level break and a little bit of a difference of opinion amongst the jockeys. Safe Voyage cut in behind runners towards the centre. Phoenix of Spain going forward. So too Voracious, who leads the way towards the far side. Uh, Voracious from Phoenix of Spain, who's followed by Ben Battle. On the far side, Magna Grisha is a little isolated, but against that far rail, running rail. Uh, Happy Power is chasing them. A couple of lengths to Accidental Agent from King of Chain and then moving up towards the outside now in the uh, red jacket king of comedy as they race on towards the halfway stage imaging is further back from the revenant and then mohatha raising sand is being held up with century dream and moves swiftly law glitters is towards the rear with safe voyage voracious has opened up into a three length lead maybe three and a half lengths to phoenix of spain and magna grisha and they are followed by happy power ben battle towards the outside in the all blue jacket accident agent and then behind these races king of change on the right then is king of comedy and frankie de Tori getting closer followed by imaging the revenant is trying to get out being held in by imaging as they race on now with two furlongs left to travel mahath has got a bit of ground to make up century dream is pulled very wide voracious still leading the way chased by happy power and here's king of change now being delivered out wide is the revenant and king of change loomed up to lead the way from voracious the revenant Revenant is after this new leader, King of Change by two and a half lengths to the Revenant as they race inside the final furlong, then safe voyage. King of Change is wandering off a true line. The Revenant slightly impeded perhaps, but King of Change is on top. And King of Change wins. King of Change from the Revenant. Safe voyage through for third. The long-time leader Voracious holding on for fourth. King of Change has won the QE2 for Sean Levy and Richard Hannon. More Group 1 glory for the pair over a mile after Bilsenbrook in the Sun Chariot a couple of weeks ago.